This is Season 3, Episode 30 of In Touch with Terry, a podcast for aesthetics professionals. Today's episode is titled, The Three Key Steps to Knowing Your Numbers. So the financial course has seven modules. The first module is your service categories and their related cost of goods. Module number two, revenue and accounting organization. Module three, revenue per hour. Module four, forecasting and budgeting. Module five, creating goals. Module six, compensation and bonus structures. And then lastly, we dig into the KPIs and the benchmarks to tie everything we've done in the first six modules together. These modules are step by step. Welcome to In Touch with Terry, our power-packed podcast for the medical aesthetic industry that brings you expertise, authenticity, more importantly, solutions that have proven to increase profitability, attract, convert, and retain more patients and feature some of the top industry experts as guests. Hi, I'm Terry Ross, former Fortune 500 executive, international speaker, and founder and CEO of Apex by Terry Ross and Terry Ross Consulting. Today's podcast, and again, guys, I know, I know, I know, I say it every time, but this is super special today because it is the one year anniversary of, woohoo! Um, Robbie Grayson, extraordinaire, who joined Terry Ross Consulting literally a year ago today. And I am super jazzed because we're in Redondo Beach at my producer's house on the ocean. We can hear the waves and she's with me right beside me. So welcome, Robbie. It is so amazing to have you here and congratulations. I would not be here without you. So thanks oh, for being man. here. man. No congratulations, <laughs> please. Thank you so much for let me join your team last year in spite of everything you can't imagine the first year it has been absolutely amazing and we have done some pretty incredible thing it's been exciting well i couldn't have done it without you and for everybody listening i'm going to come at this with um at a couple different angles one um to talk a little bit about Robbie's background. Uh, you guys have heard me. You've known me. You have followed me. Robbie and I have been friends for probably about eight years. Even when I had Lasky, she was um, so instrumental in our friendship and working together back then. But I want to really hone in on Robbie's experience in the industry, her background. I think it's really incredible that you guys hear her story and why I wanted her to be my partner and why I wanted her to join this company. More importantly, what she can bring and what she has brought, specifically as, it, as it, it's related to to finance and analytics, because as you guys know, I have spent over 15 years working for Fortune 500 from a sales capacity, yep. and she so complements this business as a whole from the finance perspective. So Robbie, if you could just tell our tribe, our community that's here with us today, thank you guys always for listening, a little bit about you and your, your story. Yeah, so my story is totally what you would not expect. I think the universe decided I must be in this business because I grew up in um, the beauty industry. My family are still manufacturers, small manufacturers of skin and hair care products. So, you know, I grew up going to uh, conferences and beauty shows. I'm so, I'm talking five, six, seven years old back in the day, and. That led me, you know, after I go to college, get out, got back into what we were doing as a family. So I started looking at numbers and saying, okay, how can we, you know, go from A to B? And I opened literally one of the first day spas in the United States. There were less than 30 of us. We actually co opted in town and country. It was amazing. Because and what year, Robbie, was that? When oh, did you do it was that? 1986. Okay, okay guys. 1986, you know. first day spa. Okay. Yep. Never was a provider. And all I did was look at how we could take productivity, utilization, and what we were producing. And remember, very similar to this industry, I had, you know, um, a hair design team, I had an aesthetic department, I had massage and body therapist, I had, we had nail people in that time. So everyone's capacity and um, productivity potential was different. They were all different. So I spent 17 years built 
an amazing organization. We sold it to uh, private equity. But the way that I did it was by creating a formula that was based on capacity and potential for each department and and how we scaled, how we scaled not just as a company, but by taking every person, every provider, all the team members of the company and educating them on those important metrics and how we use those to scale and even taking it down, you know, very granular to the products we sell, the services we decided to offer and at that time, it was really interesting because obviously if I told you the date, it's so in the mid to late 90s, the aesthetic industry really started to blossom. I mean, we saw, well, let's think about it, 1999, Botox, right? Mm-hmm. That's when FDA approved mm-hmm. Botox. And so at that time, and I still had this thriving, one of the top, you know, day spas literally in the country, we started having more plastic surgeons wanting to collaborate with us Mm. because our clients were asking us, have you heard of this? What about this? Who do you recommend? So the basic structure of, in in the service industry is, is the same for, and the, and the one difference was always third party remuneration. But what we know has happened with aesthetic medicine is that it is purely Mm cash-based. So I applied those metrics that I started with, then became more engaged with, and and in time, and of course, Terry, you know all this, it would take time, I I imported products from Germany and France because we didn't have anything to sell. So I had a wholesale company, and I had the spa. And, um, you know, started putting all those pieces together and then started... Uh, engaging with more aesthetic practices. I love it. So I want to point out a couple things that Robbie said as it relates to why we're having this podcast. You know, she talked a little bit about her background, which was number one, what, 1986, Mm -hmm. first day spa. And, you know, her coming from a family in the hair care business sort of gave her that foundation. But what she pointed out was that she, she, and not everybody is, you guys, more of an analyst. She likes to focus on the numbers. And I get it. That's not necessarily my jam. (laughs) I would rather sell shit to a toilet can if I have to. But (laughs) I can convert a caller coming in. I love the numbers, but she loves them more. Um, But but my point to this is, is that the purpose of this podcast is is a couple things. Again, her journey, our journey together last year in the middle of COVID, really understanding and taking a look at some of the challenges that you guys have all faced because we're this company's mission and vision is really all about serving and supporting and educating you to to give you the resources and the tools that you need to grow but what she also said was she pointed out that regardless of the industry there are fundamental financial factors that you must know like and if you don't know them shame on you. That's I say that with all the love in the world, but shame on you. Like we have to know, and we are here to help you and to help you and learn what those factors are. And by the way, guys, last Wednesday, we just did a webinar on revenue per hour. More importantly, looking at your practices revenue, your provider's revenue, and how it can impact your business substantially, knowing those numbers for exponential growth. So Robbie, let's get into what it's been like for us this past year and how when you joined Terry Ross Consulting, we were immediately hit literally with COVID where we weren't going to be traveling. We weren't going to be going to conferences and what that was like for us really, you know, understanding our clients challenges, you know, and what we did, you know, the old adage, the best laid plans. Terry and I, March 1st a year ago, were like, we, it, we had figured it all out. We knew exactly what we were going to do on March 1st. <laughs> and then by the, I think it was like the 18th of March, the world changed. And we all know what that means. So, as and I say that, I, I'm telling you, you can't see my arms, but they're like little goosebumps on my arms. And so... I mean, literally, what did we do? We we hunkered down. We said, holy moly, whatever. Holy shit. shit. 
(laughs) What are we going to do? And that's when we really said, okay, what we got to do is find a way in this environment, which we thought would be about three months, right? What we're going to do in this environment is we're going to really focus on the challenges that you guys have. What keeps you up at night? What are the monkeys on your back? And I mean, from sales to finance to operations. And our initial idea was to just do some uh, virtual training Mm -hmm. and, you know, I mean, Zoom made us more comfortable, but it really was more about creating the answers to the pain points that you have in a very, very simple way that you can communicate it. I mean, there's high level, there's low level, but come on. You've got to be able to communicate it to your team because they're going to help you get to where you need to be. So for me, it was sort of, you know, um, deja vu and going back to, okay, how did I use my numbers all those days back when I built this amazing world-class day spa and sold it to private equity to get me there. And it was by engaging my team and by talking about my numbers. Not everybody are numbers people, right? Nope. So while I, again, touche, your team, right? We're, we're nothing without our team. I'm nothing without my team. Um, but not everybody is an analyst and not everybody understands the numbers. And we know, we know, because we work very closely with a lot of the practice management software companies, Um, Because we've we've helped them, you know, establish what those KPIs are. But, you know, reports are only good enough with the data in. And, you know, if it's garbage in, it's going to be garbage out. So let's talk about when you were here in L.A. literally in June, June or July. And what was one of our number one things that we did? We, you know, and you were, it was, I mean, I got to give it to you. You wrote, we wrote a finance course. Okay. Yes. Tell what is that finance course about? How did we structure that? And why did you come at it from that way? Okay. So before I answer that, Terry, let's just back up and look at how I came and tackled the solutions that our clients need for the challenges that they have. So here we are, March 18th. I think that's where I was, March 18th. And we're building a finance course. And when we say finance, finance is um, about how you can systematically solve the challenges that you have. We can give you solutions that you can bring through your practice. And what I did is I literally used the same systems and the same approach I used for 17 years building a business that nobody had done. And we, I was a, I was very much a pioneer in the, in the spa industry. And so in looking at it, I knew that we had to have, I mean, yes, we have benchmarks we have to look at. We have our GP, we have our cost of labor, we have our cost of goods. You know, we have obviously the bottom line cash flow, but we needed to find, you and I needed to find one or two solutions that would allow us to speak to what we were hearing from all of you, plastic surgeons, dermatologists, aesthetic practices, all of you have, believe it or not, pretty much the same challenges. So it was very important from my perspective that we were able to give you tools and systems that were robust enough to forecast, to create goals, to build a compensation structure, and to know where you are, to strategize, to figure out, okay, today I am here, so where am I going to be next year, and what am I, how am I going to figure out, how am I going to calculate that information? And, and that was really the focus. And again, as I said, going back. So what we've created with the financial modules in Apex is a really step-by-step system. My goal was to teach this in a way that very different people in your organization, your providers, your front desk team, and then we connect it to sales, 
all the people in your organization, your stakeholders, your investors, if you're at that level, could take these numbers and they made sense. Not the numbers your practice management systems are telling you to use. I mean, and those are important because we use that to collect the systems. But we, we created this financial course that basically answered all the solutions, spoke to the solutions, and what were they? We created the ultimate data in this industry for you to use to measure, grow, and elevate your practice. So you can take the data that we created, and the solutions will take you completely through, you know, forecasting, strategy planning. There's so, so much you can do with it. I love what Robbie just said. So this is for Terry's Tribe. This is exclusive info, guys, that we do not share with anybody, anybody at all. So Robbie, I'm going to ask you to tell the our peeps, what what is the financial course about? What, what are the modules based on and what are they going to get? So the financial course has seven modules. The first module is your service categories and their related cost of goods. Module number two, revenue and accounting organization. Module three, revenue per hour. Module four, forecasting and budgeting. Module five, creating goals. Module six, compensation and bonus structures. And then lastly, we dig into the KPIs and the benchmarks to tie everything we've done in the first six modules together. These modules are step by step. You can't do module six if you didn't do module one. And I swear to God, I wish I had this course back in 2013 when I took over Lasky. I wish I did. We want to save you time and money and allow you to increase your revenue in an exponential way with, again, all of these tools and all the resources and all the training that you need. And so based on these seven modules, not only does Robbie Grayson go through literally finance for dummies to start a medical aesthetic practice, which it is. I promise you, you will want to listen and listen and listen. And if you want to hear what our clients have to say, please go to apexplatform.com. But what you are also going to get is we have built seven financial optimization calculators that ultimately give you the answer. I want to know the answer. I want to know what makes me the most money. I want to know what makes me the most revenue per hour. Don't you? Robbie, right? You have been truly, we've been like, working 16 hour days, building these calculators. But what if some of our clients had to say, like from your perspective, just working with practices, how, what has this meant for you? Well, and you know, we, we come from the same cloth. Uh, we wanna help and, and helping makes us feel good. But honestly, yes, with our financial information, we've set practice owners practice managers, you know, plastic surgeons, their whole teams, we've given them freedom because it's not as complicated. Now in the beginning, there is some work, but the bottom line is we're here to help you in Apex too with our community. Mm -hmm. You know, every Tuesday, you and I do an open sort of format where people who are a part of our Apex community can pop on and talk to us. And it is absolutely amazing. I love that part of what we've done with Apex, in addition to the financial and all the other things we've added to it. I love it. I love it. Well, I hope you guys loved this segment. Again, for a couple of reasons. Number one, a little bit about our story, about what COVID forced us to do which I know we've all faced really significant challenges and pondered about our families and our health and our practices and what we were going to do. And I hope that if you saw the vision and you were as dedicated as we were, that you saw the light, that you wanted to continue to invest and seek opportunities, more importantly, perhaps seized opportunities that you didn't otherwise know. Um, I know, again, our business grew exponentially and I'm grateful for that, but I'm more grateful that you know, you guys know my story. I'm a single mom. Um, and as a single mom, it was, how am I going to take care of my child? Right? Wh- what am I going to do? And how can I continue to serve and support? And having Robbie and I, two women 
intimately passionate about this business, right? Absolutely. Her, again, having sold a company to private equity, where I'm impressed about, about that. Again, we all want an exit strategy. And with us developing Apex, which is really based on the five core components of every challenge a practice has, more importantly, what Apex is going to offer, which is ultimately solutions. Inside Apex offers five core components. We talked a little bit about some of those today, which is our training component, sales, and our amazing finance course that we just gave you and only you listeners the sneak peek to what that is. Abacus are seven financial calculators that no one else has. You guys, there's a previous segment. You must listen. I interviewed uh, Isaac Ms., uh, Musley with Simplast. We specifically talk about the difference that Apex is not your PMS software. That is not what we do. So we give you solutions in the calculators. We have Lucid, our social media, up to 50 API integrations. So you can fundamentally see how your practice is performing. Gage, we signed an exclusive uh, collaboration with Ronan Solutions. And what they provide is statistical validated data to American Society of Plastic Surgery so that you have the opportunity to benchmark yourself against other people. And then Robbie just chimed in. You guys all know we love our people. We love our tribe. We love our community. And we are here to support you, hold you accountable, but more importantly, help teach you and hold your hand through that. So we have office hours on Tuesday. We do bi-monthly webinars on a topic. And so while we're here with Robbie, again, celebrating her one year and her and I, it's funny, I used to call her like a ninja, like financial whisperer, because to me, that's what, she, that's what she is. But what she brings and what she has brought to me, to Terry Ross Consulting, to Apex, to building this, this platform for you guys is so instrumental. And so what are the last words that you really want to leave our listeners with about you, about what we've done, about what, what they can expect from us moving forward and what they can expect about working with us? I think that Terry Ross Consulting, Apex, and our collaboration in the last year has allowed us to give back. I mean, we love this industry and we love our clients. We're passionate about giving you what you need to build and to grow. Thank you, Robbie. That was amazing. And that was heartfelt. And again, I want to thank all of you. I always say this all the time for the listeners. Thank you so much for tuning in, for giving us your feedback because this allows us to learn continually allows us to grow and for tuning in for sharing with your people and for wanting to be part of our tribe and our community i think what robbie said really hit the nail on the head that what we have found over the past 15 years is people don't want information they want a solution and i am so proud we are proud I speak for my entire team who has freaking work countless hours these past nine months, really to give you something that I hope to God, I mean, the feedback's been astounding, but nevertheless, I invite you so much to go to apexplatform.com, schedule a demo with my team, take a look at our, our website and see what our clients have to say, because we want to hear from you. I want to see your pretty face on a Tuesday. We want to be able to educate you on a Thursday and give you all the resources you need in 2021 and beyond to grow your business. So thanks for tuning in. Talk to you soon. Thanks for listening to In Touch with Terry. For more information regarding Apex, the aesthetic game changer, visit apexplatform.com. That's apxplatform.com. We'll include links to everything in the episode notes, including links to all of the ways that you can follow Terry Ross Consulting on all social media platforms. Please don't forget to subscribe to the podcast from whichever platform you might be listening from. Thanks again for listening, and we look forward to you joining us on the next episode of In Touch with Terry.